Duncan and Soul Furnace. Yeah, baby. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> you know, uh, Trump is really trying to connect with the inner city. He was uh, seen putting money into the cup of a man standing in the unemployment line. I thought that was nice. But just then, um, Barack Obama said, hey, that's my coffee. <laughs> Hillary, you know, had several uh, iPads. You hear about that, Brian? iPads uh, and, and phones that were destroyed, Blackberries. Um, with hammers. Some of her aides were destroying them with mm -hmm. hammers and uh, contained classified uh, material. It's still amazing that she couldn't recall 39 times, imagine 39 times in reference to her email scandal. She kept on saying, I don't recall, I don't recall. <laughs> and Bill said, maybe there's a chance she can't recall the name Monica. <laughs> hey, listen, we have an amazing show for you tonight. My good friend, R&B singer, gospel legend, John Gibson is on the show. Come on. Actor Noel G is here tonight. So stick around. We'll be right back right after this. Come on. Hey, my first guest tonight has been in all the movies. I mean, you name it. And he currently can be seen in Fresh Off the Boat on ABC and CBS's new hit, Training Day. Please help me welcome Mr. Noel G. What's up, Blair? 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 Good, bro. Glad you can make it. No, it's all love, man. We're tracking. Thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it. Good to have you, bud. So yes, you're a busy man. I try to be, I try to be, you know you what actually, I mean? You actually came from doing Training Day. I mean, you're doing it this week, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been working on it this week. It uh, stars Bill Paxton. Yeah. It's a new show on CBS. It's going to take off in January. So excited about that. I did the movie, and I was actually the only character to come back from the movie in the show. Oh, how cool is that? Playing the same character. So it's a real blessing, you know? Yeah. It's cool to come back. So it's I'm excited. It's a blessing yeah. to be the, the bad guy. You're the tough guy in the show. Right? I, I guess so, you're yeah, the yeah, yeah. The show. Yeah. Well, you know, it's a cop it's a cop and robber show type deal, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So they gotta no, be some cool. bad guys and some good guys, that's you know what cool. I'm saying? So I'm bad guy undercover, you know. Yeah, so. yeah. You were walking around and some people were recognizing, hey, I've seen you, favorite scene. You they know, thought they seen my day. picture at the post office. Yeah, you know, yeah, they, yeah. they thought go. they were gonna collect the reward <laughs> today. <laughs> so good. So so you're doing training day, what else what else you been doing? You're, um, you're busy been, all the time. Yeah, I've been blessed to stay busy, you know. Um working on that comedy show Fresh Off the Boat. That's a new hit, you know, What's it's your, making what, some noise out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, and what your character on is. that one I play the chef. I play uh the head the head cook of the restaurant. Wait so. a minute, that that's yeah, stereotyping, I get, right? That's I know, stereotyping, I know, man. man. The nerve of Hollywood, yeah, right? Man. The nerve, yeah, man. man. The nerve. Yeah. I know. I've been, yeah, I, I wrote a letter. I'm hopefully they're paying you for it. Yeah, the get, checks are clean. The okay, checks cool, are clean. Good, so good, I'm not good. mad at nobody. Yeah. yeah, you know, the checks are good. <laughs> but um, yeah, so working on that, that's, that's a comedy. Funny. That's pretty funny. That's good, yeah. Yeah, so there's a lot of things happening, you know? It's a real blessing. It's awesome. And then you're shooting some movies, too. You're always shooting a movie. Someone's always, you're always dropping in. Yeah, in the middle of a couple flicks, you know, producing my own. I've been I've been lucky to stay busy in this business. How did you get into acting? Man, that's uh, funny. I was actually uh, right place, right time. I was um, going to an acting school with this girl that I was dating, and she wanted to be ah. an actress, you know, model in the whole Hollywood so deal. So if you want to get into acting, find date, a girl. girl yeah, find a girl relationship. that wants, okay, yeah, cool. and then just kind of come in through the back yeah. door. You know yeah. how Mexicans yeah. do it, you know yeah, what I mean? Man. So that's how we get down. That's how we do it, man. Right, that's right, right. No, you read my book. That's good, <laughs> yeah, man. You're good, keeping man. up. You're keeping up. <laughs> hey, so so tell me, you're a believer? You know uh, Jesus? What? How'd that happen? Um, 
Doing when a drive I was, by uh, in front of a church or something, or what's going on? Yeah, I got caught for that. I ended up doing nine years on that. Oh my god. Yeah, it was uh, it was crazy, man. Yeah. And I'm playing, bro. No, uh, I thought you were serious, man. <laughs> no, I know. I thought you were serious. No. I'm like, man, no. because I'm Mexican, got a bald head, <laughs> right, I got to right, do right. a drive by. <laughs> what's up, man? See, I'm already, stereotyping, already you. stereotyping I'm man. What's up with this Just like Hollywood. It's all good. So how'd you come to I'm going to jump you in the hood, bro. I'm going to take off the suit. Yeah. When we leave, like I'm in trouble. You look like you just got, got out of court. What's I got, going on, bro? I got big slice on you. Did, big you slice could be my lawyer, bro. We're big slice. You know what I'm saying? Looking all smooth. <laughs> hey, That's so, all good. So, so We're safe. Did, There's white people in the audience. How did you get saved? How'd you come to the Lord? Um... I got saved. Or are you saved? Uh, You're still, or are we doing it now? Uh, we're, we're doing it now, yeah. Is okay. there an altar call going on right now or what? Because I'm ready. I'm ready, dog. I'm ready. I need a healing, bro. Yeah, I need yeah, healing. Yeah, yeah. Deliverance, let's, everything. Let's, let's take doing, care of that right doing, now publicly on TV. Let's I've seen do that it. Training Day movie. So I'm with it, yeah. Oh, no. Training Day, I wasn't saved, man. No, no. Okay. What is okay. that? I don't even know what that is. What is being saved? Being saved. <laughs> <laughs> See, I got him. Got man. it. You want to play? Be ready to be played with that. Um, so you're wearing the cross. I know you served yeah, Jesus. You this is God. rented. Yeah. I got to return it oh. tomorrow. Yeah. So I got it from Rena Bling. Yeah, We're gonna have so, to like you know. uh, totally edit this. Uh, this show. No, I'm playing with. No, that's all right. So that's how right. do you, you play a lot? Don't you? I, yeah, I, I do, don't man. think we hit one solid point. Well, here's the it's point. Right, here's the point. I'm like, man, we're just like caught on tape. <laughs> Noel G and Chucky just chilling. Chilling. Talking about drive-bys. Talking about drive-bys. And working at restaurants. And we're gonna get a tattoo on you. Give you a nickname. Girls official to by tomorrow get movies, afternoon. Yeah. Don't even trip. Yeah. Seriously. We'll make it happen. You got, you got. Are just, you sure you want to be serious now? Yeah, I want to be serious. All right. Now, what if I'm not ready yet, though? You're going to be ready. Uh, I'm, Jesus. Uh, Tell right. me about Jesus real quick. All right. Um, I would if you stop cutting me oh, off, brother. <laughs> Man, I'm like, they're going to have to subtitle this show. <laughs> like, follow the bouncing ball. Um, I'll give you the short version. Uh, when I was 15, I was led to the Lord. I got saved. I'll be keep, you know, keeping it real and honest. Uh, when Hollywood kicked off, I turned my back on God. You know, all the money came in. I saw the party and the craziness, whatever. Um, so I turned my back on God for about 20 years. Fast wow. forward, I got called for this uh, movie on Warner Brothers set. And uh, it was um, funny because this guy comes up to me and he goes, hey, you're the one in all the movies. And I mm. said, yeah, yeah, yeah. We talking for three hours. And we just chopping it up about movies, production, celebrities, Hollywood, this, that, and the other. And at the end, he goes, uh, you want to ride back to your car? And I said, yeah, because Warner Brothers is a big lot. And he had the little golf cart deal. So he takes me back over to my ride. And right when uh, I got out of the golf cart, uh, we were saying bye to each other. And he goes like this. He goes, all right, brother, it was nice to meet you. He goes, Father God, I want to pray for this brother. Right? And he just started praying for <laughs> wow, me. Wow, man. And I'm looking around the parking lot like anybody around? Like, you know, yeah. the coast was clear. I got a reputation, right. homie. Wow. Nobody was around. I said, I guess we praying. Yeah. And uh, what intrigued me about this brother is that he had nothing, pretty much. He drove a beat up truck. Uh, he wore the same messed up clothes. Um, he was struggling to pay his bills, but he was always so happy. Wow. And one day I told him straight up, and I had money, and I got cars, and I'm good, you know, financially, but I was messing something emotionally. Yeah. And uh, I told the brother, I said, hey, come here, let me holler at you right quick. And he came up to me, and I said, check this out, man. I go, you got a beat up truck. I go, you're always struggling to pay your bills. I go, you got nothing, man, and you're always so happy. I don't get it. And he looked me straight up in the face, and he goes, no, you're wrong, brother. I got Jesus in my heart. Wow. And long story short, I wanted what he had. He led me to the Lord, and uh, I've been serving God ever since November of 2008 with my wife. That's awesome, brother. Yeah. That is awesome, brother. So, well, it's good. Listen, we're going we're gonna to come back right after this. And, uh, what um, if I don't want to come back? No, you're going to come back because you got to do this. Done, we're going to do this man, little game. Yeah. Uh, I'll be out. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back right after this. And I might be here. <laughs> Hey, welcome back, everybody. Listen, we're sitting here with Noel G, and we're going to do something kind of cool. All right. I don't know if it's cool. Maybe it's more like Well, foolish, let's find but, out. Explain what's um, up. And, and I don't have we'll... my reading glasses, so you're going to have to read this. We got these jelly beans. Uh-huh. And um, you know what this is, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have a clue. One tastes good and one tastes horrific. Right, right. So we're each going to pick one. Uh-huh. And, um, and just give it a try and see, and who, see what our face see, looks see like what when we're you done. Get. Well, see what you get. So right. you read off the first one. Go ahead. So we'll do, do you want quick. me to read off the first yeah, one? Yeah, just go ahead and grab one. Which one? All right. So this little bad boy right here, here is we'll Stinky these. Socks. Stinky Socks or yeah. what's, the, what's the good one, though? Well, no, I don't I don't think there is any good choices oh. up on there, to be real. Well, <laughs> okay. maybe the coconut one, man. All right, that so you go ahead. Let me grab one. All right. It's kind of truth or dare. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I got holes in my socks right now, but I ain't gonna lie, it's pretty good. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so you go next one. It, it didn't do it for me. Well, <laughs> what's up, dog? Put one uh, in there now. I know, I know, man. Here we go. There you go. 
He wanted me to ride alone. That ain't fair. That one's good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? Hey, maybe they get us all done. I can man. actually eat a couple more of these. Go ahead, go ahead. Get, pull, I'll pull take these out, to yeah. the pad. All right, I got two. All right, move on this so, one. All right, this one right here. This ain't a bad one either. This is Peach. Oh, I like Peach. this game. This is cool. This works cool. This is cool. This is cool. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got. Yeah, Peach is cool. All right. All right. You want to like? Oh, you want to? I swallowed it. What are you talking about, man? That's not Peach. <laughs> These are like Fear Factor <laughs> jelly beans right here. Give up with this game. All right. Okay, I like peach. What are you talking about? Oh, that was nasty. No, that was good. What are you talking foot. about? What was that? All right, here, here. You want to try a nasty one? Oh my god. Let me ask the let me ask the audience, man. Why don't we get a little yeah. audience participation here? The moldy cheese or the booger? The booger. Oh. There it is. All right. Here's the booger. No, I'm oh, kidding. No. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, oh. I'm kidding. All right. Here we go. I'm go kidding, man. Go. I'm a team player. Let me not? find the booger. Nah, just oh, here's the booger man. right here. We're uncivilized here. We here's the come. yeah. Here's the booger. You're getting too professional with here, the little here, here. thing and yeah. One All of right. these. One of these is a booger. No, no. These are the boogers. It's green, green. So I just. All right, you ready? The, you ready? I don't know if I'm ready, but we're going to go. live through it. I'm saved. I know where I'm going. No, that was a lime. That was lime. They oh. said booger, man. We gotta please them. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Oh, this is the booger. Here we go. This is the booger. Oh, it's the darker broke. green. That's one. So wait. I'm swallowing all of them, man. Oh, and you're spitting them out. That's not fair. No, I ain't about to. So here's the I difference. That, no. If you could get a little close up on that. Oh, well. So what? this is the good one. Now this is the booger. This is officially right. the booger right one here. So here we go. One more. Then. All right, here. Oh, here. here, here. I this is the booger. No, I already had the booger. No, you didn't have the booger. Oh, man. You had the juicy, here. you had the juicy here, bear. Try one of these. Try one of these. No, hold up, hold up. This is the booger. I'm going for it. I'm all going right. in. All right, here we go. Which one's the booger? How would they know what a booger tastes like? I don't that's know. I that's know. the thing. I'm like, who makes these things? Let's try one more. We'll I ain't even going to front. The booger's right, kind of good. We're like, closing out, Ryan. Like, hey, listen, we're going to keep eating some. Um, I was homeless at one time. I eat. <laughs> we're going to keep eating some nasty jelly beans. Give it up for No LG, everybody. All love. <laughs> Thanks for this love. Yeah, love. Man. <laughs> Mama never understood me Papa was a rolling stone I never was what I could be Ain't that something, no, no, no. Ain't that life, yeah I thought I'd find all the answers, you see, cause I, I thought that I could do it alone, that's what I thought, but my life ain't what it should be, cause I've really got nothing, no, 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 come on, oh. about the music business no no you see cause it always seemed to turn my insides around yes it did but if through a song I can bless and not even just one man oh no oh no I'll be free
guest tonight is somebody that I've known, it seems like forever. And I'm so glad he agreed to come down and do the show. Gospel music, living legend, okay? Living legend, Mr. John Gibson. Please help me welcome John Gibson. You don't age, dude. You still look like this. You know, I adjust. You adjust. <laughs> Just a, it's a, funny because yeah. we met, gosh, how long have we known each other? I don't want to date us here. 20 years but, or more. Uh, yeah. I was like six. Yeah. Yeah. I was like six years old. And I remember going to your concert and you kind of picking me up on your shoulders. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> no, man. No, we no. met. God, you know what's funny? Yeah. We met um, actually at a party, a, a good party. You were doing autograph signing. Yeah. And... Uh, I didn't know who the heck you were, no offense, just, you know, at that time. I was, not, I, was, I was not into Christian music or anything. And I remember my sister said, oh, John Gibson, you know, he, she liked your music. She says, he's going to be signing CDs. And so we went to this bookstore, ran in and met you, talked to, uh, back then, Ahab, Julian. Yeah. <laughs> Julian. And that was your, your, the guy that was working yeah. with you at the time. And from there on, man, we just clicked. You know, yeah, we and clicked right away. Right away, yeah. man. And we were, and so we were like inseparable for a while well, we, there. We come from similar hoods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Southern Cal, man. Yeah. So it was like, so anyways, but years go by. You got kids now. Yeah. They're, they're passing men. us up. I have Two kids. men. Two men and a boy. Yeah, yeah. man. But so. you're still doing music. You know, I was, yeah. you've done, correct me, is it 16 uh, charting songs? Uh, I think I think the actual number is 22 top five hits and nine number ones. Nine, nine number ones. Nine of those were number ones. Nine yeah. number ones, okay. Yeah. Those were good days. Oh, man. my gosh. Yeah, yeah. you were all over them, radio. You, know? you were all over radio. You know, <laughs> yeah. live is that you know. done. You can, do some, you can do some of that today. Yeah, right? okay. sure. But, man, sure. we could tell stories, man, how, yeah. <laughs> how we, uh, we, I remember one time we were cruising. Back then, this is how old it is. Remember when, when you were in the car and you had this brand new burgundy car? Remember that car? Right, the Taurus. Ta Taurus, but back I was then so you proud had it. Of it. It was like dropped and everything, yeah, brand new. It was a Taurus. And yeah. This is how it's going to really date us, man. Yeah. There were no cell phones. Well, they were, but only like the rich people had them, right? Yeah. You know, and, they, and they were those cell phones that were in the box and they were big. You know, oh, I had the up. big cell phone. And it was you all the, all thing? the record label. Yeah. <laughs> so he went, you went, he went and he had a, he, he brought a, a hey. phone in yeah. the car. Just a regular phone from the house, right? The size of a field. The size of a, and pulls it up like this. Cause he, we were trying to get girls, you know, into this. So we were trying to say, man, we got, and you're going around with the phone. It's wired. It's like yeah. from the house. It's not hooked up for anything. I know, I know. <laughs> we did some stupid stuff, yeah, man. I know. But looking back, yeah. you know, I do crazy things, man. And then, and then I remember, remember when we were going to fight? I think, you know, how tall I are think you? so. How tall are you? Uh, six, you're six, now? Yeah, well. Six, one, maybe? Six, no, one? dude, you got to be tall. Please be taller. No, that no, means six, I one. Six, one. No, you're like six, two. You grew a little bit. I grew, well, I grew, but Well, yeah. people grow like it. It's some, you know, now people at 20, between 20 and 25, they shoot up again. Oh, okay. So well, you, I'll, I'll yeah, receive that, man. That's taller, cool. Yeah. But anyways, but we were on the playground, and it looks, must have looked ridiculous. We, we were playing basketball because we, we actually were uh, roommates for a little bit there. We won't get into details there, but remember that? And we were like, you, we were like going like this. You're going, bring it, man. Yeah, bring it. Right. And we were going to get in a fight on the basketball right. court. <laughs> That's because I thought it was And I was, was like Michael looking Jordan. at you like this. Let's do it. Let's do this now. <laughs> Stupid stuff. I thought but, it was Michael Jordan. I was terrible. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I, just, I thought I was good like that. But listen, <laughs> you were man, a good player, though. I'll tell you. Get back to your music yeah. real quick, man. I've always you actually were very influential in my life because when we were, I was just this young guy going around with you touring, and uh, you actually got me intrigued with music, and in the Christian gospel world, and I saw how you perform, man. And you always little tricks, and you know what I'm talking about. You would be doing um. Life has got you down, right? Ooh, you sing, you sing it. I'm doing your imitation, I'm and you're singing like this. And I said, "Dude," and then you would forget the lyrics on the stage, right? And I was like, "Dude," you know. And then all of a sudden, the crowd would be singing the song, and I found fortunately. out. Fortunately, well, fortunately, <laughs> but no. But then found out that you you said that's how you get them involved, man. That's yeah. how you get them involved. Well, that was and a good was excuse. Like, yeah. yeah, was that? Oh, <laughs> oh, man, I was looking up to you all this time. <laughs> I thought that. But looking back, man, yeah. I said, man, 
this guy is you know, incredible. You had well, I was hard to go so fast you know? that I, I had to. I struggled to remember the lyrics when I'd had to perform them. See, that was well, the problem. Yeah, listen, hard of gold, you know? and I kept on saying, why isn't this guy cleaning up the awards right now? You know, well, we know I, a lot of it's political. I think, and I think it's because of, of, of an attack, you know. I mean, I started with John Travolta. We had the same manager, Stevie Wonder's attorney, yeah. Johanna Vigoda, and he wanted to get us into the movies, you know. So uh, he had, he was, well, he had, uh, Travolta had already done a movie, Saturday Night right, Fever. right. Uh, but now he was he was negotiating the next movie, with the sequel to that, and they had me going to do a, a musical movie. A movie he wanted yeah. me to go the same route as Travolta, and I remember that uh, the guy, the producer was uh, he was disappointed because I was a soul singer, and he goes, "I thought you said he was a rock singer," and Johanna said, "Oh, oh no, no, gosh. he's a." He can sing anything. I'll tell you what, you know, he'll... Uh, oh, yeah, tell yeah, you anything. He could yeah. lip sync, you know, yeah. the first movie, and then the second movie, his voice will be up to speed. So you, you know what they wanted me to lip sync? ACDC. Oh, God. And I was a new Christian. You know, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Yeah. And then I remember Johanna Vigoda's face. He knew that he had a problem. He had this Christian kid, and he looked down at the floor, and he said, I got, I got advice for you. He said... Take it or leave it, Gibson. If you want to make it big in this industry, you got to get a little twisted. You're too clean cut. Oh, my God. And that stayed in my mind. Yeah. So my whole career has been this one just subtle, you know, I don't like confrontations. Right, you know what right, I mean? I just right, subtly right. just remove myself from well, being man, a star. you know, for I, subtle and all this, you've know, had an awesome career. You've blessed thousands, dude, with your songs. And uh, it's an honor to just call you friend. Oh, so thanks, Chuck. Before we break, let's check this out. I'm going to ask you some questions. You've got to give me quick answers, okay? okay. You ready? Quick answers. You ready? Yeah. This is like a celebrity confessional thing. Okay. At what age was your first kiss? Uh, Susie Herrera. <laughs> you remember her name? Yeah, oh my gosh. she was uh, eight. Okay. Here we go. Oh, the best of your knowledge. Oh my gosh. How many girls have you told I love you to? Ooh, do you want to say that? My wife. Okay, and I had stay, to marry stay, her. stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe. <laughs> I yeah. had to marry her after that. Let me ask you, know? music business. Have you ever told someone you sound great when they didn't? Yeah. And who was it? It wasn't no. you. <laughs> oh, oh! It wasn't you. Oh! It wasn't you. All right. We'll talk after. Right. What was the most <laughs> desperate thing? Listen, desperate thing you had to do to get booked at one time. What did you have to do? You need something to get booked. Uh, let's see. Oh gosh, I don't. I I uh, call and say yeah. You know what I've done real quick. Yeah. I've called. Oh, and called said and it. said I was. Uh, okay, I had manager. a cancellation. I oh, called, you called, I as, called a manager. as the manager. Oh my yeah. gosh. Okay, last one. Yeah. In, 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 oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever stunk up the restroom and blamed it on someone else? <laughs> no, I I just I stayed in there a long time. Until it went away. Until it went away. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, John Gibson's going to be singing tonight. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in tonight. I hope you had fun. I sure did. Hey, listen, we love coming to you every week. We love producing these shows for you. We love making you laugh. Love bringing on the musical guests and all the celebrity interviews. Would you do me a favor? Would you write us today? Let us know you're watching, where you're watching from. We've been receiving quite a few emails and, uh, and letters, but we want to continue to receive those. And would you do me also another favor? Would you consider sowing a seed into this ministry? This is a ministry. It's a ministry of laughter, a ministry of joy. It's a ministry of clean comedy, clean quality television for the entire family. So if you appreciate clean quality television programming, would you consider writing us and sowing a seed today? The address is on the screen. Our website is on the screen. Until next week, keep laughing. Oh, life don't love you when you're holding on After you let go, so tell me What's it matter who you are? Oh, what you even do now, 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 now Baby, I know you'd like to end it all, but please, before you do, oh, yeah, my friend, I know what you've gone through, 
Jesus died for all of you, yeah. And so keep this known in mind that, oh, though your heart is blue, you better let it break in two. Someday you will find a friend lives in you. Open your heart and you'll find a friend lives in you. Open your heart and you'll find a friend that lives in problem with that?